I'm here today to talk about different types of Christmas trees so that you can choose the one that's right for you. This is my all time favourite Christmas tree. It's the traditional tree, the Norway spruce, and it's a lovely soft tree that's got a very fine needles and it grows really, really bushy and there's lots of branches so you can hang plenty of decorations on. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and its real highlight is that it has a wonderful scent. So the Norway spruce grows faster than the other trees so it's one of the most inexpensive. However, the thing that people have found they don't like so much about it is that the needles do drop. This is the type of tree that you're going to want if you're able to put it in a conservatory that's cooler or if you want a tree that's outside because you'll get a lot more for your money um, but you don't have to worry about the drop so much. This tree is the Norman fir and it is the most popular tree at the moment we find. People love it because the needles don't drop but also I think because it's a very elegant tree if you look how it's grown, it's symmetrical. There's space between each layer, which means if you've got baubles that hang, they hang nicely and you can see them really clearly. But the reason why it's more expensive often is because it does take longer to grow. So it's a slower growing tree and also it requires more pruning. So I call these the Darcy Bustle trees because if they're not pruned enough at the bottom, um, it looks like a tutu, just like Darcy Bustle would wear. And I would definitely recommend that if you're gonna go for this tree, you bring a tape measure and really check how wide they are before you buy them and bring them into the house. So the other reason why people like this tree is because the foliage is very soft and gentle. So if you've got pets, it's less likely to get stuck in their paws and hurt them and when you're working with the the fur it's also great because it's got two tone almost i use it both ways up when i'm making reeds on the top it's green and if you turn it over on the bottom it's silver there is an alternative to the norway spruce or the northern fir and it falls nicely in the middle and here it is it's the blue spruce it's got that bluish tinge, but actually I think of it more as a silver colour. And it grows fast, not as fast as the Norway spruce, but faster than the Nordman fir. So it's not as expensive and it doesn't require as much pruning. But there are two things that you need to think about with this tree. One, it's very, very sharp. The needles are very sharp and also has a very distinctive smell. It's a bit of a smell that you either love or you hate. Some people think it's great. Some people won't have it in the house because of that reason. Personally, I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I also like the fact that they're very rigid. So it's easier for hanging heavier decorations on. It grows a lot more strongly than the other two. Whichever tree you choose, the most important thing is to look after it, to get the best out of it until Christmas, make sure it lasts and looks fresh and lovely. And I've written a few simple pointers on a blog and so you can go and read how to care for your tree, whether it be a Norway spruce, an Nordman fir or a blue spruce.